the cross annulled satan's power hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 and 15 in as much then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood he himself likewise shared in the same that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death that is the devil and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage we see here the state of mankind without god you know, there are words like bondage uh, where satan makes slaves of us through sin uh, and the fear of death but these verses tell us that jesus christ on the cross of calvary you now he he became man first of all because there was a requirement for a sinless human being who is in flesh and blood to die on the cross for us and so jesus became a man and then he died a a, a painful death on our behalf now what did this do for us read here that he destroyed the power of death in doing this jesus has destroyed the power of death which is through the devil and so we are now victorious even over death itself jesus has annulled the power of satan and jesus has annulled the power of satan over our lives let's read uh, another passage here colossians chapter 2 verses 14 and 15 having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us which was contrary to us and he has taken it out of the way having nailed it to the cross having disarmed principalities and powers he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it now we see that jesus uh, ha- has taken away everything that was against us you know these verses tell us the handwriting of requirements that was against us every report which was against us jesus came to this world to take that away uh, because that separates us from god what else did uh, jesus christ do these verses tell us that he disarmed principalities and powers and he made a public spectacle of them uh, in the times of jesus people would have understood what what this talks about you know making a public spectacle uh, was a common practice by kings who won who won victory who defeated their enemies you know they would come and parade uh, uh, all the things that they brought out of uh, the land they subdued and they would just put it on display and so this verse is telling us that this is what jesus did to the power of satan to to the principalities and the powers of darkness you know he defeated them and he defeated them so powerfully that he made a public spectacle of them putting them to shame and showing us that he indeed has won the victory for us and he has done this once for all and as believers you know this is a truth that we've got to etch in our hearts to always remember no matter what we are facing even uh, the the opposition that we may be facing from the enemy we are facing it from a place of victory there's nothing else we need to do uh, for us to uh, take back mastery that satan you know took from us jesus has already done that for us jesus has already bought us back that authority that we lost uh, and so you know we we can live a life uh, as ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22 tells us we we are now made a new man in righteousness and true holiness and praise god that now we have authority over the enemy we have authority over the devil but we will still experience defeat only in the areas where we allow the enemy to enter and so let's not allow the enemy to enter in any area of our lives let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for restoring back our authority lord we thank you oh god for for uh, defeating the enemy once and for all oh god father god we pray that each one of us will walk in that power will walk in that victory oh god lord that lord we will we will crush oh god the works of the enemy and god that each one oh god will be an overcomer father we thank you for doing this in our lives in jesus name we pray amen 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.